Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. Hope that you're having a wonderful day today. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day with me. I don't know what, how the weather is with you, but it always makes me feel so positive when the sun is shining. <laughs> I love the sun. But um, I, I just hope that you um, get a good start to your day today. And of course, we always talk about our cups of tea, and I'm gonna reach for my cup of tea because I have got today my, um, it's one called Defense and Strength. It's a, 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 a one of these new twining teas. It's kind of a themed tea around healthy drinking, <laughs> drinking tea. And it's really nice. It's kind of a dark tea, but it's got uh, cinnamon and um, kind of interesting spices in it. It's really nice. So this is my tea. And um, I had oatmeal for breakfast this morning. Do you, I don't know whether you eat before you have your cup of tea or maybe you eat breakfast a bit later in the morning. But um, they always say, you know, it's important to have your, your breakfast um, after your, your, you know, a good sleep. But I wonder um, what you eat for breakfast. And uh, I'd love to know a little bit really about your eating habits because what I want to talk to you about today is healthy aging and how to keep weight off in your 60s. Okay, hands up. How many people think about losing weight? Um, you know, use a spectrum. I think about it a lot, think about it a little, and don't think about it at all. Now, I'm one of the people that I, I do think about it a lot. I, um, when I was younger, I, I seemed to have a, um, you know, an ability to eat different kinds of foods and not gain so much weight. But honestly, now I, I've cut back on my calorie consumption, but I also seem to be gaining, you know, I'm not gaining weight, but I just can't lose it. So um, I'm always interested when we get an article written by one of our bloggers or an expert who can help us to understand um, you know, this phenomenon of, um, of overeating and you know, why we overeat how to, and how to lose weight. Now, one of our bloggers, Sherry Broder, um, and she, she says, I hate rules, and I do too. I mean, I, I really just can't deal with the, you know, don't eat um, you know, any fruit at all. Don't eat any food two hours before you go to sleep. Uh, don't eat any fried food, no dairy, uh, go gluten-free. <laughs> you know, there's like this constant um, uh, you know, barrage of recommendations around what to eat and what not to eat. And I just um, don't like rules. I, I really, even though I try sometimes to be more structured in my eating habits, I still do my own thing. Now, over the years, I have learned um, a lot about myself, like we all do when we're in our 60s. We kind of have a little bit of practice with ourselves. And I know when I eat, uh, sometimes it's emotional, you know, when I've got something on my mind or there's like triggers and I, and I sense them. I, as soon as I go to the fridge to get some cheese <laughs> and some bread or whatever, um, I, I know this is because I'm having this concern or whatever, I just know myself. And also, I'm a nibbler. You know, so I don't know about you, but I, um, I work at my desk, of course, a lot in the day. And um, so I sit here working and thinking. Writing is not sometimes a very um, smooth process. You need to be walking around and think, you know, researching and thinking. And I nibble while I think. So I now have a, a strategy where I use, you know, like um, red peppers I love, uh, celery, I have a little bowl of nuts perhaps sometimes, and I've learned that that's usually good enough. The other thing, which uh, I think Sherry mentions this, but is, is drinking water. A lot of times when you feel hungry, you're really just thirsty. So it's kind of nice to just go and have a drink of water and um, that often helps me um, to just cut that, um, that hunger pang. But anyway, Sherry has um, offered four guidelines for um, losing weight after 60 and, most importantly, keeping it off. And, I, I mean, they're so obvious. I mean, and, and in some ways, I, I, I should know all of this. I've, I've read it all before, but um, it's good to remind ourselves. Now, the first thing is, she says, is to know, eat only when your body is hungry. This is the big thing, isn't it? I mean, when our body's hungry, we, um, you know, we, we eat proper foods and, and we, eat, we sit down and we eat well. When we eat with our, what our brains tell us, then it's, it's often not nourishment that we're, the food nourishment that we're looking for is something else. So it's easy for your brain to say, you know, to be walking um, along the, the, the road in here and smell some bread baking or see something really exotic. And your brain, um, you know, is always thinking ah, immediate gratification. I want something right now. Um, and, and it doesn't think about the future impact. It just has this, you know, this reaction. 
Your body, on the other hand, is always in the present. It's always in the present moment. And if you listen to your body, then you will only eat when you're really hungry, when your body is hungry. Don't listen to your brain, it doesn't know. <laughs> but your body does. So the second thing she says is, of course, feed your body when it's hungry. You know, don't uh, deny yourself eating. And this is one of the big challenges with diets is that we, um, you know, we, we prevent our body. We don't listen to our body messages and then we just hold back and starve ourselves. And of course, that isn't good for your body either. Now, the once you've actually figured out, like I talked about earlier, that there might be an emotional need, an emotional thing that's driving you for eating, then you can actually start, um, you know, choosing when your body is hungry to eat the right things. And actually, she does... Sherry reminds us of something earlier, which is the only way that you're going to lose weight is to stop eating so much, so many calories. And you can, you will, you will gain weight if you overeat. And you can gain weight from overeating good food. So it's not like, you know, healthy food is, should be, um, you know, you shouldn't eat it. It's just the quantity in relationship to the amount of activity that you do. So that's really important is, you know, dump the idea of forbidden foods, but actually, um, you know, listen to your body, trust your wisdom and eat what's good for your body. You know, just follow that, in, that instinct. It's good advice. The next thing is to not multitask when you're eating. I do this. I, I almost can't help myself. You know, it's not like I, I, I can't make time in the day to just put away my work and eat. I, I can do that if, if I choose, if I make that decision, but I usually don't. It's really crazy. I, I'll watch, um, uh, you know, I have an iPad where I watch the news a couple of times a day. And, um, you know, I just, when I eat, I always have my the news on or some, some documentary or some channel that I, I want to watch. Um, and or, or I'm still looking at my email or you know chatting now and again with a text message and there's my plate of dinner and and I, I don't know about you but when um, you know when your kids call you or or your grandchildren and you're in the middle of eating I've gotten into the habit now of saying hey can I call you back in 10 minutes I'm just finishing up my dinner because um, you know it's just it's just important to make that a, a special time to make it a sacred time you know to eat your eat your food in a way that is um, with gratitude so that's the thing, you, know, you sit at the table, she says no texting, no watching TV, no reading a magazine <laughs> or doing anything else. Just eat your food and, uh, and sit comfortably, not stressed. Just eat your food, enjoy it. That's number three. And then the fourth thing that she recommends is to stop eating when your body feels lightly full. Notice it. Notice it when you're eating and your body just gets to that point where it's not over full. It's just lightly full and stop for a second, you know, just, just have, a, have a breather, chew your food well and just have a breather and then just say, hmm, I think I'm full. I think I'm lightly full. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's really um, difficult when you're eating at a, a restaurant or uh, say, for example, someone's prepared a meal for you, you know, to, to know when, you're, when you had enough and then to just maybe push it a little bit beyond if you want to be, um, you know, polite, but then to know when to stop. This, this happened to me actually just the other day. I, was, um, I went up to this beautiful little, um, uh, it's a bio farm up uh, by my house. And in Switzerland, they have these wonderful uh, places called bio farms where the owners grow natural foods and, uh, in you know, really lovely conditions with no um, pesticides and, and, and preservatives. And then they sell their vegetables in just small little shops. And this particular one is gorgeous. It's right on a hill, overlooks the lake. It's just beautiful. And they, every Tuesday and Friday, they have lunch. And the lunch is always amazing. And it's made from their products. And so I thought, oh, I'll, I'll treat myself. I'll, I'll get the food today. And they're kind of funny because they don't really tell you what's on the menu. They just say lunch. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I'll have whatever you're serving because it will be great. And everybody gets the same thing. Like it's just one meal. And anyway, so they brought this meal and it was soup and salad and then the main course. And it was like this huge amount of beautiful, I, I can't even describe it. It was like a ravioli, but it was like filled with vegetables and uh, tomatoes. I had like a pesto with it. It was really, really tasty. And I, and it had two big pieces and, and along with other things. And so anyway, I started eating it. And by the time I finished the first one, I honestly was so full. 
I just, I, I really, I wasn't even lightly full. I was full. <laughs> and um, so I just made the decision, you know, I'm not going to eat this. I mean, I'm, I feel badly that I'm going to have to say to them, excuse me, but I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm not able to eat it all. It's really delicious. But, and I did do that. And she said, oh, you know, it's okay, no problem. But I felt bad. I hate wasting food. Now, I just had a flashback in my mind as to why. Don't you do this all the time? <laughs> like, I know why. It's because when I was little, we didn't have any money in our house. And everything my mom cooked, we had to eat everything. You know, it, I mean, no one was yelled at us or anything, but we just knew that our food was there to eat, every single bit of it. And uh, so that's maybe something that some of you have experienced too. You know, when we were younger, we didn't have um, a lot of fancy food and we ate what was given to us. So that's one thing. Anyway, don't worry about hurting feelings. What's most important is that your body is being fed the right foods at the right amount, and then you, um, you, know, you do some exercise to, to balance it out. And I walked home two miles <laughs> to balance my, my meal. I'm not trying to you know, be funny, but it's true. You, you just kind of think about these things um, if you're interested in losing weight and keeping it off. And of course, I know I can hear my son's voice in the back of my head all the time with this. And he, of course, would remind me, as he should and he does, that exercise is the number one way to lose weight. Um, eat, eat all this great food, eat mindfully, eat when your body's hungry, not your mind. Eat, um, you know, eat until you're just lightly full. But truthfully, it's, you've got to be active as well. So anyway, no quick fixes here. <laughs> I think this the most important thing is just to stay healthy overall. And I would love to know, I mean, first of all, thank you for listening to all of that. I feel like I've been through a little kind of um, journey myself here with uh, my issues with weight and trying to lose a bit and stay healthy. And I, that's what I love about our community, <laughs> that we're all here for each other, that you're nodding along or saying, well, you know, I'm the same or I'm doing, I'm thinking same, similar thoughts. So anyway, please um, share with each other your comments on this topic and uh, support each other. You know, leave comments, share, uh, like, like the comment, let people feel that you're there for them. That's what we do here at 60 and Me. So I'd like to wish you all a happy day. Hope you have a fabulous day out in the world and that you have a nice good lunch when your body's ready <laughs> and ask you, you know, what guidelines do you have uh, for keeping weight off in your 60s? I'd love to know how you, how you balance your weight in your 60s. Thanks again for being here, everyone. Have a really beautiful day, and I'll see you all back here again really soon. Bye-bye for now.